You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports Porters, let's talk about Pat McAfee and the situation that has developed around Mark Davis and whether or not he fathered some child with some much younger woman. Now, a lot of this started out from an aggregator called Dov Kievman. He works for Bro Bible or used to. And in f- fact, Awful Announcing is saying now that he doesn't even own that X slash Twitter account anymore. And he gets a massive amount of impressions on X. And all he does is basically NFL news or NFL related news and just. Writes in a little quote, retweets it. I'm sure, judging by his impressions, has become a good moneymaker. Now, I don't have the kind of hate for Dolph that everybody else seems to have because, well, the actual news guys aren't batting 100%. Okay, let's just be real there. None of them. Zero of them. All right? I mean, literally, you can have two contradicting stories about one player come out in the same day it, it it floors me how many people believe well you've got to get it right every time no it's never going to happen it's never going to happen that's just the way it is and in part because you have so many people in the industry whether it's general managers coaches blah blah blah, blah they're lying a lot of them are lying right so anyway Dolph tweeted out there that uh that Mark Davis was having a kid, all right? And a lot of people ran with it, including Pat McAfee, who actually brought it up during Monday Night Raw. Uh, I believe it was last week, maybe, that he brought it up, and now Pat McAfee has had to come out and literally talk about it on his show and talk about the fact that he got it wrong. Now, in case you're wondering... Uh, this person right here, we're, we're beginning to learn more about the Hayden Hopkins situation in Las Vegas. Earlier this week, erroneous reports from NFL aggregator accounts claimed the 26-year-old Vegas area dancing Hopkins was expecting a child with 69-year-old Raiders owner Mark Davis. Well, what's odd about this is I thought Dov worked for Bro Bible. Are, are you guys not working in the same office? How does that work? The different locations? I don't know. Uh, I, I don't really care. I don't really care that he got it wrong. But, man, this took on a life of its own. It really did. So, um, here's, here's what we got going on. This is what she tweeted out. Because she had to clarify because the dada of said child is Joey Gallo an, an MLB player, a Major League Baseball player. So, reports of, this is what she tweeted out. Reports of Mark Davis being the father of my child are wildly untrue. I was pictured sitting next to him at a game in 2022 and have endured false rumors of a romantic relationship since. I was just a guest sitting in the owner's box with other friends. These continued media report stories are negatively affecting what should be my happiest days. Joey and I are excited to welcome our baby in the fall. Okay, so that's supposedly what's going on. They're talking about it is uh, TMZ stepped in and said uh, it's untrue. Welcoming a baby with MLB player Joey Gallo. TMZ reported that. Uh, We got down to the bottom of things, and as it turns out, there is still a sports connection to Hopkins' future baby, just not as previously indicated. And Gallo is a current member of the Washington Nationals. It was a planned pregnancy, okay? And in case you're wondering or just want to know, let me let me see if we can get in here and take a look at this lady, right? That's her right there. And she was spotted in the booth. There was photos out there of her and uh, Mark Davis together, right? Uh, So anyway, Pat McAfee had talked about this on Monday Night Raw. uh, Sports uh, show host Pat McAfee attempted to pile on a viral news break involving Raiders owner Mark Davis on Monday with a quip 
during his most recent appearance on WWE Raw. It backfired less than 24 hours later. The unsubstantiated rumors claim that the 69-year-old was having a baby with 26-year-old dancer. What kind of dancer? Hayden Hopkins. With Hayden Hopkins. Those lies formed following her pregnancy announcement this year due to the presence in the team suite during a past football game. And I think there's been more than one game. I may be wrong, but I think it's more than one game. All right? So, Pat McAfee had to go on his show and talk about this. So, here we go. Before we go any further into this particular news bucket, we have to go to last night's Monday Night Raw, where I uh, oh, yeah. I reported uh, something in the, at the beginning of the J.D. mcdonough Braun Strowman match. Uh, this is what I said on Monday Night Raw last night. J.D. JD has no chance. Mark Davis is 70 years old and is expecting child with a 26-year-old. Anything is possible in this modern world, but with this big son of a bitch back in the ring, J.D.'s been pooping his trousers. And now J.D. Tries- okay, so uh, a lot of people said there, sure. yeah. Braun Strowman is a big son of a bitch, obviously. Yeah. You look mm-hmm. at the size difference between him and J.D. McDonough. You think to yourself, he's got no shot. So obviously it's an easy correlation. You can see how my brain goes. Anything's possible, yeah. mm-hmm. especially with what I just saw reported all over the internet, mm-hmm. all over the place, that Mark Davis was expecting child with 26-year-old girlfriend. Turns out that is not the case. Moments later, yes. after I said that on Monday Night Raw, uh, the lady who is pregnant would put out uh, Hayden Hopkins, is her name, reports of Mark Davis being the father of my child are wildly untrue. <laughs> I was pictured sitting next to him at a game in 2022 and have endured false rumors of a romantic relationship since. I was just a guest sitting in the owner's box with other friends. These continued media stories are negatively affecting what should be my happiest days. Joey and I are excited to welcome our baby in the fall. Joey and Hayden, I'd like to let you know, I apologize for perpetuating a lie. I understand how happy you guys should be at this moment. Would suck to have a 70 year old billionaire oh, yeah. kind of looming uh-huh. over the entire. Mm-hmm. So I would like to apologize to Hayden and let the world know. Hey, we got to make sure we get these things right. Mm-hmm. Okay? We're obviously a part of this. Sure. <laughs> I spread lies in the middle of Braun Strowman, J.D. McDonough match yeah, last night. Sure. How would you know? Mark Davis is not the father. No. Okay. Okay? But we no. would like to congratulate Joey and Hayden Hopkins on the beautiful baby coming this fall. Congrats on doing it. Congrats, guys. Congrats. Okay. So there it was. Pat McAfee had to walk that back. Um, my deal is, why is everybody losing their mind over it? I guess. You know, I mean... Look, there's all kinds of stories that come out. I mean, this one was all over the place. All over the place. And, I mean, there's no way to fact check so much of this stuff. You're just, there's no way to do it. You know, and uh, it is what it is. Like I said, I don't give a rip if you're Ian Rappaport or Adam Schefter or if it comes out of a coach's mouth. You don't know what to believe necessarily when you get right down to it. You know, the other one that always makes everybody mad is unnamed sources. Put your name on it. Okay, so literally there will never be any news about or rumors about anything to talk about ever. So just, uh, you know, let me hit record and just stare at you for eight and a half minutes and then in record. Yeah, nobody's watching that. But I get the point, you know, I mean, I just, it is what it is. Uh, Yeah, nobody's batting 100%. And um, my hat's off to Pat McAfee for going out there and being like, my bad. Yeah, you and three million other people, so who gives a rip, you know? Seriously, it is what it is. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Um, Wow. I mean, that kid, I almost made a video on that. I can tell you, I did. Uh, I was like, okay, we, <laughs> I mean, I would have literally been like, I'd have mentioned it in some other video. We, uh, yeah, we got that one wrong. Uh, okay. Who cares? I mean, it happens. It absolutely happens. Uh, nobody's batting a hundred percent. Honestly, man, if you're batting 70%, you know, what do they say about MLB? Do you bat 300? You're getting in the hall. Well, okay. Tell me what you think. Peace. I'm out till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.